Hello everyone, it's Infinity Gamer here and I'm going to be talking about some fresh leaks about M5. So barely 24 hours has passed since Gen Con, seminar, the big announcement, and we're already in the situation where some images of things that we know to be part of M5, um, but are fresh and haven't been officially announced, are already making their way onto the internet. This instance is some data cards that seem to have been photographed at Gen Con, at the Infinity, or at the Corvus Belly stand, um, that show some of the changes that are coming to stat lines, data sheets, how saves and stuff like that seem to be working. Now, I'm always super skeptical of these sorts of leaks. It's very easy for someone to create something that looks as though it could be genuine, but actually just turns out to be something that they've whipped up at home and then they've leaked to try and you know, stir the pot a little bit. So I did some sleuthing with this one. Uh, with the images that you're seeing here, so we've got the data sheet backdrop, but then we've got the actual, uh, so we've got the actual profile card for Shikami, uh, which you can see there, it features the very standard uh, traits that we're used to, so movement, CCBS. Uh, then we've got the pack that's part of the Gen Con release, and you can see that there's the back of one of these cards, there's a couple of other cards sitting there, you can see some Pano, some JSA. So what we know um, is that this is clearly, well, this seems to be official. Um, so one of the things I did to try and verify it was do a bit of digging. And one of the first places I went was Bostria's Instagram. Praise be to Bostria. Uh, and to see if there was any clues as to whether this was actually at Gen Con and if this was on the infinite, uh, the Corpus Belly stand. And sure enough, we see the Warsaw JSA uh, you know, new release on their pre-printed uh, terrain, which looks absolutely mint. And we see that featuring in Bostria's setup. Uh, images. Then Bostria uh, Carlos actually very kindly posts a bit of a video, which we'll play here. And if we do the classic freeze frame at this moment, we can see what looks to be in the same position as where these photos have originated, the data cards themselves. In fact, we can actually see the Shikami data card sitting on top as we uh, we look at the still of this video. So genuine, you know, this is the uh, this is the, the Corvus Belly stand at Gen Con. And these are the cards there. Now, a lot of this stuff hasn't really been announced or shared by Corvus Belly, at, at least as of doing this video. So there's a few things in here that I want to highlight. The first thing is when we look at the Shikami uh, data set, when we go across the top row of statistics, where wounds typically is we see vitality. That's the first key change that we notice. Now, now having checked the Shikami profile in, uh, in the Army Builder, we see that vitality is exactly the same as wounds, uh, as far as we can see here. Then we go to probably an even bigger shift, uh, which is the PS equals four at the, at the bottom, which is given as a damage type value for the DACC weapon that the Shikami has. Now, there's a couple of things that are different to the Shikami that we're seeing here on this data sheet and the Shikami that we know on the Corvus Belly set. So a couple of the, the key things, move stays the same, CC stays the same, BS gets slightly better in this uh, new N5 type data, data sheet. PH is the same, WHIP is the same, Armor is the same, BTS is the same, Vitality is the same, AVA, S, all of that sort of stuff that we know. In the special skills box, we don't see anything new, but we do see a few things removed from what we see in the N4 Shikami stat line. We then go down to the weaponry. We see the multi-rifle, which is new. None of the Shikamis in the M4 version of the Army Builder have a multi-rifle. We've got a combi rifle version and we've got a contender version. Um, and then we see no equipment, no peripherals, so the decharges get dropped, as does the flash pulse. And then we see melee, uh, melee weapons, uh, pistols, CCW, AP, and DA, and then the PS minus one. That's actually the same. What I think we're looking at here is not a removal of rules around courage, stealth. Uh, what else do we have that's missing? Uh, I think that was it from the main stat line, specialist operative. Uh, and all that sort of stuff. I th and then we're seeing the decharges removed from the equipment. I don't think we're seeing those things being dropped for M5. I think what we're looking at here is that starter type introduction, which sits within the same rule set that kind of replaces code one that uh, Corvus Belli and Carlos, uh, praise be to Austria, did mention during the seminar, which I've done the digest video for. So this, I think what we're seeing is that stuff's been removed to simplify the learning experience for a new player, which makes sense because I, I wonder if this 
is actually being presented as the two-player battle pack for the JSA Pano, and this is kind of like a get familiar with Corvus Belly. And so this is the basic learner stuff. So nothing I think here that's like super red flag in terms of what's getting dropped for N5. But then we do look at those that vitality, just wounds. I think it's just a rewording of wounds. One thing that I think a couple of questions that have been raised in the groups that I've been speaking to is whether vitality is changing the wounds and the structure mechanic. So does that mean that there won't be engineers or there won't be doctors anymore because they heal very specific things? We just simply don't know. What we know at this point in time is that wounds seems to be going towards this vitality. Now, we haven't seen anything that would have had structure, uh, as far as I can tell. So we don't know if vitality is the equivalent of wounds and then structure is going to be something else or whether it is an amalgamation of the two. That is simply not known just yet from what we can see on these official stat lines. Then we're going to jump into the PS values, which we don't have a ton of information about, but piecing a couple of things together, what was mentioned in the seminar and these rules, what we can infer from this is exactly what Carlos, praise be to Austria, said in the seminar, which is that there's damage is the only mechanism within N4 where you have to roll more than your success value. With everything else, it's equal to or below. So I think this is one of the first glimpses we're going to get as that tidying up of rules that was discussed in N5 and in the seminar, where this is actually just being brought in line with the rest of the mechanics. That makes it so much easier from a learning perspective and from a teaching perspective, because you're basically saying to a newcomer into Infinity, when you have a face-to-face -face role or even, no, no face-to-face role, or even a normal role, what you have is your success value, and what you have to do is hit that or go below it, and you've done what you want to do. Anything over it is a failure. So that's a small change to the mechanics. So I've got a graphic here for how this seems to work out because we can see the PS values, which is effectively the damage value of uh, a couple of things. The weapon here, we've, we also can see it for like the combi rifle in the other set of cards. And so what we what I've put together is this demo here. So we've got the, exact, the, the current system where you've got the damage, then you've got your armor, then you've got your uh, cover as it stands in M4, and we're assuming that that's going to all of that is basically going to be carrying across the M5. So what you have is your damage, then you minus your armor, then you minus your cover. That gives you a success value that you actually have to be above. So it's not equal to, unlike shooting, where you have your success value, and if you hit that, that's a crit, and then if you're below that, you're good. With armor saves, awkwardly, it's here's the value. Now you need to be above it. What we're looking at here, when we're looking at like damage equals four, which we do for the APC, uh, the AP and DA weapon, what that's basically saying is that you need to roll a four lower in order for you to be successful. Is what we're we're basically seeing here. So when we look at the new system. If we're looking at a damage, you know, fourteen weapon or, or whatever it happens to be, uh, and in fact, in the example that I've got in front of you, it's yeah, a damage four weapon that APCC. Then let's say you add one for your armor, because we can see that people still have armor values here. Then let's say cover is going to go across, so we actually have a plus three. So all those pluses are now still pluses. Um, what we then end up with is on a damage four with plus one armor, plus three for your cover, you're looking at rolls of equal to or less than eight, as far as my maths goes, uh, that would be successful for you to avoid taking damage from that weapon. In my mind, that seems a lot more straightforward, easier to understand, easier to explain, and in part, that's because that aligns them with every other type of, of role that you're doing, where success value and below, you're good. Now, damage, all of that sort of stuff, taking wounds, is just going to align with the rest of the mecha mechanics. In terms of the other stuff that we're seeing on these cards, there's not a ton. We see the removal of things like cube uh, things, but again, I think a lot of what we're seeing on that data card itself, we need to take with a pinch of salt. We don't know if those things have been removed because they're not going to be an N5, or simply because what we're looking at here is kind of a beginner starter set that's designed to guide new players through the game in a combat 1v1 environment that actually scales back the complexity of the rules, which is what Code 1 did so fantastically well, but now they're building it into the N5 gaming system. One thing I do love is those cards. I love the concept, and they did say that in the Warcrow book there will be pictures of the unit, the model, alongside its statistics and all of that sort of stuff so that you can actually see what the model looks like alongside its stats. This 
in terms of being able to learn and play is very similar to stuff I've had to build myself when I've been teaching new people, where there's explainers on what you can do with short skills, when there's explainers of this is the unit, this is its stat line, and you end up putting an image there so that the new person can go, oh, that's, that's that one, and that can do this, because it's all very visual. So I think if this is how the new introductions are going to happen to M5, it's going to be fantastically successful, because it takes away a lot of the gripes that people who have been teaching people on Infinity have, takes them all away, and it's straight from Corvus Belly. So those are the leaks that we've seen so far. It does tell us a little bit about what changes are coming for M5, and we actually get to see the numbers, and we get to infer how that's going to play in a gameplay system. What do you think? What do you think about the new damage system that we think is taking shape here? Do you think that that's a great way to be handling damage and to be able to roll it into the same rule set? Or do you think it's a change that didn't need to be made? I would love to see your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more videos.